again, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I love you guys. You guys are incredible, incredible, okay? Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. I wanna say what's up to all my subbies and I wanna say what's up to all the newbies. Maybe eyeballing me for the very first time or second. Come on in, come on in. I really appreciate it, come on in. I'm glad you're stopping by. We're gonna chit chat just for a little bit, okay? First of all, I wanted to make a comment about my last video where I was talking about the short hairs in the top of my head. And I just wanna thank you guys, you know? I wanna thank you guys. I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of suggestions. Um, I got a lot of encouragement and a lot of people saying, you know, well, maybe you should try this. Maybe you should try that and this and that and combs and brushes and no brushes and no heat and maybe this and this and that. So I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate the suggestions and the comments and what I'm taking as concern. You know, um, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, it just made me think that. So it just made me think. I mean, these are just little short hairs. Just little short hairs, errant hairs. It's not big chunks, but it made me think, man, if I had started this channel when I was sick and my hair was falling out, man, I can't even imagine the type of response and comments and suggestions and just overall, you know, support I would have gotten had I done a video back then. So I really appreciate it. I mean, I really appreciate it. I really do. You guys are dope. You guys are incredible. Y'all are, y'all are dope-tastic. Y'all are a number one. Y'all are just dope. Y'all are just incredible, for real. So I appreciate the outpouring. And um, even though a lot of those suggestions don't really fit what I'm doing right now, it can help other people. Other people can read through the comments. Maybe they're having the same problems or they're seeing the same things and they're able to sort of go through and say, hey, I know I don't brush my hair, but it may be this, and this person said this, let me try this product, so forth and so on. So all in all, I mean, it's all welcomed, it's all appreciated, okay? It really is. And I just wanna reiterate, there's short hairs, my hair is not falling out, okay? And we're gonna do a little update in a minute, but basically the regimen that I'm using now the products, um, the techniques, and this is what I did to grow my hair to mid-back length, okay, the first time around before I got sick. So everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm using, I, all of this I have used and employed to get my hair healthy and to a long state, it was to my mid-back, uh, the first go around. So I'm not gonna change too much, I'll try some stuff here and there, don't get me wrong but my core arsenal of products is already set and they've already been uh, well tested, okay? And confirmed as far as their efficacy, okay? So I know it's not necessarily the products. And again, for me, it is mechanical damage. It's something amiss in the mechanical part of my regimen. Even though I've been brushing for years, but things happen and I think it's in addition to something else. So right now I'm just gonna to stick to the brushing, meaning I'm not going to do it. It is not the Denman brush, could have been a Revlon brush, could have been a Goody brush. But what I'm saying is that it is the mechanical part. It is not chemical damage. It is not heat damage, okay? Um, because I use heat, my hair thrives on heat. It really does. I know not everybody approves or is comfortable with heat and that's okay. That's what we preach around here. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. But as long as we all end up with healthy hair, it's okay. It's okay. Different people take different routes and different ways and means to get to the healthiest point of their hair. And for me, heat has always worked, okay? Heat has always worked for me. So it's not that, it is the mechanical part that I need to adjust and that I'm going to adjust, okay? So again, I'm just gonna reiterate that I am not going to brush. I'm. It's the brushing and not the brush, 
I'm not going to brush my hair while blow drying. I am going to comb while blow drying. I believe that should address the short hairs that I'm getting. Again, it was in the crown of my head and it's a little bit on the sides, like errant hairs. It's not big chunks. It's not big chunks. It's just, you could, it looks like little hairs have snapped off. That's what, ex that's exactly what it looks like. So that's due to tension, okay? So brushes bring more tension or brushing. So I am not going to brush. It is not the brush. I love Denman brushes, okay? Because like I said, technically there's nothing wrong with a Denman brush, okay? Or a rubber brush. So that's what we're going to do, okay? Because we're in this together, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to comb my hair. And guess what? In the meantime, I'm not going to stress about it. Okay, we're not going to stress about it because we are we are getting our hair game together. For those of us who are still in search of products, we're going to find those products, those who have found the products and maybe have to adjust some things on the mechanical part. That's OK. We're going to do it, but we're not going to stress out. We're going to remain unbothered. We're going to be concerned but we're gonna remain unbothered because we're getting everything together and we're gonna get what we want out of this hair journey. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna get it. So I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna come back in. I'll give you all an update as far as the combing versus the brushing and anything else that I may find out in the meantime, but I'm very thankful. It's just short hairs for right now. And I'm not calling anything else into fruition. That's all it's gonna be. We're gonna address it. We're gonna be cool and collected, okay? We're gonna be unbothered and we're gonna do what we need to do to get our hair to where we want it to be, okay? So that's number one, I wanted to address that. Okay, so number two, we're gonna jump right into it, okay? I know what y'all are here for. You know what we're about to do. So I'm gonna turn around, we're gonna do an update. You know that I relax my hair uh, every seven to eight weeks. This time around, I did it nine weeks, okay? I think I went nine weeks and I just relaxed my hair. So it's time to do a length check, okay? With the relaxing, make sure that everything is fine. We're just gonna do a quick little overall, quick little look-see, little peek into what's going on. I like to check in once I relax my hair. So we're gonna get right into it. And then we're gonna come right back and yeah. So let's, let's do that. Okay guys, so we're doing pretty well. We're doing we're doing very well actually, okay? Except for those little short hairs, but like I said, we're going to remain cool and collected. And what? The keyword for this video is hashtag #unbothered. Okay? Hashtag #unbothered. So that's exactly what we're going to be, okay? We're going to address it and we're moving on, okay? So yeah, I'm very very happy with what's going on. We still have the bounce and the shine, okay? And you know, my ends are still thick, which is what I want. And I did, I didn't trim my bangs. Maybe you, maybe you noticed that, okay? They're a little longer, but I did trim everything else. And again, I trim every four weeks. That way it keeps the split ends at bay 
because I believe I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I, I don't believe we should always be in triage mode. Okay, uh, you see the split end, then you attack it. Because a lot of times that's how you lose inches. That's how you don't retain a uh, length, okay? And even if you were to retain the length with the split end, it doesn't look healthy. So I don't want to, and I don't want you guys to always be in triage mode. Now that doesn't mean you have to trim your hair as often as I do, but just be aware of what's going on. And what I like to do for my hair my schedule is every four weeks. So every four weeks, I trim my ends. And this time around, I only had to do a dusting. I only had to do a dusting. And I'm, I'm very happy about that, okay? I'm very happy about that. That means that my scheduling, along with the growth, everything is keeping up. Um, everything is stick to the ends. You know, I like thick ends and yeah, so I trim to keep the split ends at bay as well as keep my style. I don't have a whole bunch going on over here, but what I do and, you know, the little fluff that I have, I like to keep it, okay? I like to keep my style, and that's how I keep my style, by trimming it. So we got this going on, okay? We got the shine, and I want to show you guys this part too, okay? So we got the movement. And I'll pull it forward so we can see what I'm working with, okay? So I'm very happy. It's coming in. And, and did you see, you guys? I, I'm, I'm working towards bra strap length, okay? So we're working towards bra strap length. We're not there yet, but that's okay. Easy going. We're going to get there. We're going to remain what? Hashtag unbothered. Yes, we are. Hashtag unbothered. Yes, we are. Because we're going to get there. I'm not even worried about it. Okay? Not even worried about it. Okay, so that's what we're working with. So I also wanted to mention, I also wanted to mention, I had a couple people update me, and I want to thank you for the update. And you know who you are. You know who you are. You guys have self-relaxed for the very first time and everything went well and you gave me an update and I am so proud. I am so proud and happy. I am so proud of you guys. I'm so proud that you were able to take the steps and you move forward and you had a great result and you're happy with the results. So that makes me happy. When you're happy, that makes me happy, okay? And thank you so much for the updates, okay? Thank you for letting me know what you did when you did it. Cause you know me and my updates. If I don't get my update, you know, you know what happens. I'll come after you, okay? But you know I need my updates, so don't play around, okay? So thank you so much for letting me know and giving me that update. I'm so happy for you guys, okay? So yeah, that wasn't too bad. We talked about some things and gave some updates, but basically we were in and out, okay? So I wanna thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll be back. We'll be talking about some more stuff. So you can make sure you mosey on back, because guess what? You already know. It's gonna be the same, don't put it down. It's gonna be the same, don't channel. So you come with me.